Hello guys, welcome back to the news. President Mohamed Bouhari in his last broadcast before heading home to Daura after his eight years tenure. He apologized to Nigerians for what he called the temporary pains and sufferings, some of his measures to revamp the country and the economy cost them. He explained during the radio and the television broadcast on Sunday morning that they were difficult choices he made for the overall good of the country. And in the course of revamping the economy, yes, he made some difficult choices, most of which yield the desired result. And some of the measures led to temporary pain and sufferings, for which he sincerely apologized to Nigerians. But the measures were taken for the overall good of the country, he pleaded, noting that he called Nigerians overwhelming support for him. And President Buhari remarked that spoke of the great expectations of citizens, saying that he never intended just politically correct, but to do the correct things. He made it known that, yes, the Nigerians had placed high expectations on him, but then he wants to ensure that our country moves forward. So he made some tough, uh, some tough choices and to ensure that our democracy remains resilient and our elected representatives remain accountable to the people. He is leaving behind an electoral process which guarantees that vote counts and results are credible, elections are fair and transparent, and the influence of money in politics reduced to the barest mi minimum, and Nigerians can elect the leaders of their choice. And yes, we are already seeing the outcome of the process as provided, as it provided an even playing field where persons without any political godfather or access to money defeated other well-resourced candidates. And he made it known that the Nigeria economy has become more resilient due to the various strategies put in place to ensure that our economy remained afloat during the cases of a global economic turndowns. Now, the outgoing president, Mohamed Bouhari, who said he was addressing the nation with a deep sense of gratitude to God, and he made it known that a great deal of he made a great deal of appreciation to the Nigerian people and a modest sense of fulfillment noted that the 2023 presidential election was the most keenly contested in the history of the nation. He also said those who felt aggrieved have the right to seek redress in court, admonishing that parties must accept the decisions of the court case irrespective of the outcomes. Yes, my wonderful people, President Mohamed Buhari have apologized to Nigerians, yes, in his uh, farewell message to Nigerians, where he begged Nigerians, making it known that, yes, today is his last day as the president of this country. He has gone ahead to, you know, show his gratitude, also appreciated the people of this great country for bearing with him. And he also made it known that, yes, most of his decisions had been tough, some which have inflicted pains and sufferings on the people of Nigeria. When we look at the, the cashless policy, when uh, President Mohamed Bouhari had to impose a new Naira note on us, just in a bid to curb the issue of vote buying. And at the end of the day, the masses ended up suffering for that very decision of President Mohamed Bouhari and the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin A. Mifili. You can tell that, yes, Nigerians suffered greatly for those decisions made by President Mohamed Bouhari and several other decisions that he has made. Well, he said that those decisions you know, are for the good and for the benefits of Nigerians. And he made it known that, yes, it really paid off because at the end of the day, the 2023 presidential election turned out to be the best in the history of Nigeria, making it known that the issue of votes buying was, you know, seized. Uh, the issue of electoral malpractices was seized uh, through the introduction of the IV portal and also the beavers machines. So my country people, what are your thoughts concerning this? He made it known that yes, the last eight years 
have been an exciting experience and he has really committed his time and his resources to make Nigeria a great nation and he applauded Nigerians for supporting him all through the way. Well, my country people, what are your thoughts concerning this? Do you really think that President Mohamed Buhari's policy have really contributed positively to our economy or do you think it has done otherwise? Please kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.